heckle them would be the ultimate dick move, so don't be that guy. Because um, these people are up here chasing their dreams and probably failing, so don't... Uh, I mean, they can't all win, so probably. Um, so, okay, we're cool with that. You guys are great, so you should have no problems. So you guys ready to do this? You want to see a little contest now? Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, I'm going to big round applause for your first contestant tonight. Brandon Christensen, everyone. Failure starts right now. <laughs> uh, there have been a lot of uh, celebrity deaths recently. Uh, it's pretty sad. That's why I'm here, just to bum you out. Uh, David Carradine died a couple weeks back. That's the one that got me thinking. Got me thinking there's a long list of things that 72-year-old men should not be doing. Pretty sure number one on that list, auto-erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> you think when you get uh, dangerously close to the average life expectancy of an adult male, you might second think throwing that rope around your neck and choking yourself while you're choking yourself? <laughs> I mean, it's got to be hard. No pun intended. <laughs> It's gotta be hard when you're 22, let alone 72, trying to untie that rope around your neck once you've reached your happy place and just want to sleep. I know for me personally, I can barely get up off the park bench for an hour, let alone go do something that might save my life. When I'm not thinking about uh, the sex lives of 70 year old men, I go to the gym from time to time. One thing I've learned at the gym is no matter how cool you think you are, you can't look like anything but a complete and utter tool on the elliptical machine. <laughs> Doesn't help for me that I make that face. <laughs> but the worst thing about the elliptical machine is actually cleaning it off when you're done. Because what do you have on the elliptical machine? You have these two phallically shaped handles. <laughs> and if you're a courteous gym member, you're supposed to clean that off when you're done. So I go and I grab my paper towel and I sneak over and I'm very self-conscious some old high school, junior high type shit where, you know, you couldn't do anything without being gay or stupid or weird or somebody making some <laughs> weird comment about it, so I sneak over and make sure no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Just cleaning it. <laughs> I have to expect my ninth grade bully to show up out of nowhere and be like, looks like you've done that before. <laughs> real representation of what it's like, because typically I'm drenched in sweat and out of breath, so... <laughs> Which makes it way worse. You sure do like doing that. Whatever, Rodney. <laughs> I watch a lot of TV when I'm not at the gym or thinking about creepy old people sex. And I love beer commercials because beer commercials have that vague mention of taste or flavor. Like it's got a refreshingly crisp taste, surprisingly smooth taste. Those flavors now, smooth, crisp. I think if you can't get it in uh, Kool-Aid, it's not really a flavor. So, uh, all right, that's it. Thank you.